and liftoff of the Falcon 9 and DART on NASA's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid. So we're getting a nice view of the onboard cameras from the Falcon 9. So you can see it looking towards the first, the, the after end of the first stage. And you can see those engines coming to life. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. And Falcon 9 will be reaching max Q in just seconds, the moment of peak mechanical stress on the rocket. And, and here in the mission data center, we can feel the rumble from the Falcon 9. And it's always amazing to hear and feel. Power and telemetry nominal. Everything looks good right now. It's really shaking the building where we are. Vehicle supersonic. Just heard that call out for supersonic. Going faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And we've just passed Max Q, that moment uh, of peak mechanical stress on Falcon 9. And everything's looking good. We're still getting some nice views of the onboard Falcon 9 camera. And uh, we should be coming up on main engine shut off here in about a minute. So far, everything's looking good. Uh, all reports are nominal. Invec chill has started. We just heard the call off Invec chill, so that's where it's getting ready to prepare uh, the second stage for engine ignition. Now that main engine caught off, or Miko, we expect at T plus two minutes, 30 seconds. And then almost immediately after that, the first and second stage of Falcon 9 will separate, followed by uh, the stage two first ignition. And then shortly thereafter, the jettison fairing at about T plus three minutes, eight seconds. So far, nominal liftoff. And as you notice, the, 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 the plume or the, the flame coming from the engines have gotten bigger. That means it's high in the atmosphere where the atmosphere isn't compressing the, the flames coming from the launch vehicle. Nico. Okay, we just heard that. Separation confirmed. In the ignition. So we just got confirmation of Miko stage separation and stage two ignition. And so this is a view of the stage one Falcon 9 booster. You can see those uh, hypersonic grid fins uh, beginning to extend. The, the shot is a little bit dark, but you can see them uh, extended out from the base. Bearing separation confirmed of the booster, and we just heard confirmation that uh, the jettison fairing is complete. And those hypersonic grid fins help guide the Falcon 9 booster uh, back down towards Earth. Again, it's heading towards the, of course, I still love you, uh, drone ship. Stage two on nominal trajectory. So we just heard everything's looking good for stage two. You heard